do women do then? What does what does a woman see horse do? They go shopping. <laughs> In the ocean. I don't know what the they course. do, but whatever. It's barnacles or whatever. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Unfiltered Podcast. Pathological truth seeking is the aim, while comedy and laughter is the game. My name is Jerry Hines from Stand Up Comics at the Castle, and with me today I have Raj. <laughs> <laughs> like Raj. And also Chun. Chun. Right, okay, so before we get into the um, topic, um, Raj, tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, I am an aspiring stand-up comedian. Good. And but what did you do before that? Uh, I did my own business. I was doing sales. Sales. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he's a salesman. Okay. And Chen, what about yourself? I know. Okay, you got something interesting to tell us. Um, I do. I was a professional dancer for many years. I started about six, actually, but. Yeah, I'm a multifaceted artist. My strength is in movement. I've been teaching and performing and dancing. I moved back. I'm in Singapore now with these beautiful guys. I lived in New York for eight years, throughout APEC for eight years. So yeah, now I actually job hunting, unemployed. But really excited for the next adventure. Job hunting. Okay, oh. right. Now, you heard that job hunting, right? Now, of course, okay, in this podcast, right, we'll be covering how many different subjects over the months and years, etc. But that brings us, I think, to a good topic for discussion, right? For example, um, about the arts in Singapore, because I mean, you're a dancer, yeah. but you're here job hunting. Are you job hunting for dance jobs or is that not easy to find? Uh, great question. I'm looking for all kinds of opportunities. I'm pretty open, mm -hmm. but within, I can speak to arts. I feel it's definitely smaller market here, a smaller country. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the mindset is very different here compared to US or New York. Um, all right, so you were doing arts in America for how long? I mean, dance? Eight America? years. Eight years. Okay, so were you dancing in the theater, on the street, or... Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know about the street dance in America, all this sort of stuff, where they have performances that are outside? Oh, yeah, all of the above. Like, like mm -hmm. even hanging on the ceiling, I've done that. It's, like, amazing. Like, I partner with one studio called William Paul. They're super big. Shout out to them. They're really great. Um, many, many places. I think the beauty I like about New York is because people are very open. Downside is transient, but the mm. plus side, people come and go so quickly. It's very easy, I feel, because people are so open to collaborate. So I've done so many collaborations, worked with amazing people. So this is one thing I do live, love and miss about New York. Like, in Singapore, it's hard. Like, I'll push someone, they're like, Xiao Yi, like, you, you know, like, <laughs> like, they're like, straight away, I get judgment, and you're like, like, even little things, like, I'll be like, hi. They're like, hey, whoa. <laughs> like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Random people on the street. I'll be like, like you know, you smile at someone and they're like. Oh, yeah. I've, I've never had a girl smile at me. <laughs> <laughs> but that might be something to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, those collaborations you mentioned, right? Yeah. Um, in dance. Do, is anything remotely like that in Singapore? Yes, I do. So I'm working very hard now. I'm grateful for Recognize Studio. Shout out to them as well. They've been so supportive. I've known them for more than a decade. So yes, I've been reaching out with a lot of partnerships. I get no's, I get yeses. But I think the good part of New York has taught me to be a lot more resilient. So yes. I'm not afraid to ask. And so I'm grateful we're doing this together. Yay! So we we'll put the links in the description to all of them, all of Chun Chua's different Crazy escapades out there. <laughs> yeah, so many. Mm -hmm. Trying, still trying. I think this be of life. I don't want to always give up. I still have hope. I think that's the artist la creme la creme for me. It's like, you know, you're just always seeking, always finding, always creating, always mm. making, always collaborating. You know, so I think that's who I am and I would like to keep that way. So yeah, I'm still trying things out in Singapore. Some a bit, sometimes successful, sometimes not, but that's life, right? I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. What about you guys? <laughs> no, this is about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sick of us. <laughs> Yeah. No, but I know what you mean about always going out. I mean, my comic books there, I did that for years, right? You just put it out there. And yeah. Living the dream, so to speak. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yes! So, did I, by, by any chance, inspire you to get into comedy? <laughs> yes, you did inspire me, actually, Raj. I did see your show. Congrats. You should check out their show, the next one, 29th. Um, end of this month, please. Check uh, 26. Out their show. 26, thank you. Yeah. I screwed up. <laughs> Yeah, please come watch their show. It's once every month. Yeah, last Friday of the month, yeah. 
please, please come. I so I had a privilege of watching Raj live. I gotta say he's a really great comedian. Like I'm happy you're doing this full time. Like represent, you know what I mean? You should like really go crazy with this. Yeah, I couldn't hear you properly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like you know what I mean? I enjoy your stand up comedy act so. I, I really cannot hear you. <laughs> Well, that, that makes it quite special, right? Because your material could be seen as like not PC, but the fact that that you're a modern female, right? Yeah. And you see the funny side of a lot of things that he says. Yeah, I I, I know he's like that. I think it's really <laughs> insightful because it's like it's smart, and you're also very clear and critical. And you're okay. One key tactic I love that you always make fun of your own self, your own race, <laughs> but like because you have the right to share from personal experiences. Your what you saw, your personal, you know what you experienced. So I think it's very powerful, and sharing story, that storytelling, it really engages the audience. It's very relatable. So I really yeah. think it's brilliant. Yeah, that's the thing. I have to start from myself first, right? Yeah. So okay, I have more material on my own people, right? Whether it's Hindus or Indians, that's where I have bulk of material, right? So I always start with that first. So that people are, they're okay. They laugh at it. Then when it comes to them, they have to laugh also, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Because they just laugh at another person's religion. You can see why Raj is a good salesman. <laughs> <laughs> so you talk about yourself first, mm. and you wreck your own self, and then you go talk about them. Uh, but of course, um, for for this comedy, right? Yeah. Um. There's some things that you, it's true, but you can't say it because it is not funny. Too. It's not funny. Okay, for example, right? Yeah. Uh, in Singapore, there's <laughs> much talk about uh, this Chinese privilege, Chinese privilege, and all that. Yeah. So the uh, the biggest problem is this this Chinese privilege thing. Uh, it it actually becomes. Uh, an excuse for people not to persevere in their life. So it's like an excuse. Okay, why do you fail your maths? Uh, yeah, Chinese privilege. <laughs> I heard people give this kind of uh, excuses. Well, not an Indian guy failed his Chinese, maths. failed his maths. Yeah, but blame Chinese privilege. Correct. Right, right. So they don't do well in school sometimes. Some of them, and then they can't get a job, right? And then the reason they gave is because one guy even came and told me. Wow, I wish I had known that this study is so important. <laughs> you know, it's like when we are studying, right? Every day the teachers will nag at you, nag, 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 nag. Okay, they they just they just happen to be female teachers, okay? And they nag, 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 nag the whole time. You know, nag, nag, nag. You don't study, you are screwed. You don't study, you don't get this. You don't keep saying this over and over again. So I don't know how these guys miss that point. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they didn't get the memo. They, yeah, they, they didn't get a memo. <laughs> no, no, we got something equivalent in the West, right? I mean, just swap the Indians yeah. for black people. Okay. <laughs> Same difference. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. so this Chinese privilege becomes like an excuse. Okay. For for me, uh, I've had uh, there are so many help from uh, from Chinese people. I also had help from Indian people. But I got a lot of help from Chinese people, mm. teachers. Uh, my past three mentors were all Chinese. Okay, they taught me a lot of things. And uh, but if I say this on stage, right, it's not funny. Mm. If I tell people, oh, uh, <laughs> Singapore is such a fair country. <laughs> Everyone has equal opportunities. That's not funny. Yeah. So I'm gonna yeah. think about all those things that all the shit that happened, <laughs> compile all the shit together and say the shit because that's what's funny. Yeah. People won't laugh for the good things. Yeah, that's true. The best way to reach people uh, is is by humor. If you do not um, if you do not say it in a funny way, it yeah. won't it won't sink in. Mm. Mm. Like if you just keep telling people, oh you must treat everyone equally and all these kind of things, uh, that's just nagging. It won't but if you make it into a joke, then that will stick in. Yeah. So, like I did the uh, this Aponene joke, right? <laughs> I was basically just putting on my own race, right? Okay. Right. A lot of Indians do not like to be called Aponene. 
Okay, but I learned at a very young age, right? If you don't like to be called something, right? You should never let the other person know that you don't like to be called that. Wow. Okay, like for example, when I was young, mm -hmm. yeah. there was this very big size, size Chinese girl in my class. She's very fair, she's very big size, tall, okay? And I was the only Indian guy. So all the classmates will try to pair her and me together. They will say that we are both girlfriend and mm -hmm. So that really affected me. Because she's not my type. <laughs> she's a bit big, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and tall. Like, like twice my height, you know? Oh, I was right, like, right. I was like primary four, primary five. She's like, twice my height. And, uh, so, I keep being very like, defensive, trying to fight it, getting angry and all that. They keep saying it over and over again. So one day, I, I changed strategy. When they said this to me, I said, oh, yes, actually, I think I like her too. And that's it, they stopped being there. <laughs> because you know what, it's not fun anymore. I do believe that in Singapore, yeah. we have, have freedom of speech. Okay. And it's like, it's just that the freedom of speech comes with a bit of care by, about saying uh, uh, truthful things. So if you say something that is not true, you have to pay the price for it. Mm. Either you get sued or something like that. Yeah. But there's, there's freedom of speech. You can speak freely as long as... Speak freely. You mean speak freely. You can speak freely. <laughs> well, speak freely, man. God damn. <laughs> That's really free speech, right? So <laughs> you can speak freely uh -huh. okay. uh, as long as yeah. the thing that you're saying is true uh, and doesn't affect anyone. I saw Mahate on British TV about 30 years ago before I'd even come to Singapore. I didn't know who Mahate was. You know what he said to the British journalist? What? Freedom of speech isn't freedom to tell lies. Mm -hmm. And I'd never heard of Malaysian before I met him, which is very true. Freedom of speech isn't freedom to tell lies. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can express yourself, but of course, there's some things that you can't say, right? Mm -hmm. uh, which will be too, like for example, right? If you say something bad, bad about the government in Singapore, yeah. and if, if, if people believe it, right, that can cause a lot of problems in Singapore. Yeah. Because it's a very small country, a small economy, uh, the stock prices can be, you know, What's the name of that corner where people protest? Uh, speakers Hong 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 Speakers Hong 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 no, no, no. You get, no. Okay, you get a Olympic gold medal, I think. No, you don't. <laughs> okay, so, so I, I feel right. The, the, the drug traffickers. Yeah. Okay, they are one thing. I don't really care about drug, drug traffickers. I care about you know who. You know? you know when you want to draw money. Yeah. And you stand in the queue, mm -hmm. the animation queue. Yeah. There's one <laughs> below in front. It looks like it's finding the cure for HIV. You know that. You know that guy. You mean the, the most always refer, oh, yeah, he's pressing something. I don't know what he's doing. Looks like he's trying to find a cure for HIV <laughs> using an ATM machine, you know? Yeah, right? That guy has to go. <laughs> that guy, that guy. Yeah, I've seen, okay. I've seen women and men trying to find a cure for HIV in the ATM machine. Oh, really lucky. And they queue so long. So I, I'm just thinking, you know, if there's a God, right? Uh, why doesn't God just go and grab him and beat the shit out of him, right? I just. It's so long within the queue, you know? And then, okay, so then the other guys who are <laughs> supposed to die, you know when you are, uh, are you driving and then you, you stay in red light? You're the first guy in the red light? Yeah. Okay. Then this biker will come and then he will come in front of you. Okay. He won't wait at the lane here. He'll come in front of you and wait. Uh -huh. So because he can, right? He, he can read the lines better. So you'll wait just before the, the pedestrian crossing area. In front of you. And then when it's green, he won't go. Yeah. If you don't want to go to one, you come in front. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That guy has to go. <laughs> <laughs> he has to remain. 
Okay, one, one more thing, right? Uh, <laughs> one more altruism. Yeah, uh, one more. and Singaporeans, right, are, yeah. are so territorial. Okay, when when you are going in by car, right? Okay, there's two things that happen. Yeah. One, right, the bikers like to take, I take the middle lane. What okay, so in a mm -hmm. in a jam scenario, right? In yeah. the morning, when there's a lot of traffic. You can't just speed and uh, and overtake because there's so many cars, mm. yeah. right? So you wanna you have to do it slowly. So you put a signal and you wanna go, right? The bikes will be so far away, they will start honing. because that 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 middle of the lane, right, is theirs. You can't touch the lane, so you can never change that. You no, know? you always have to go. So that whole lane of bikers, yeah, I have to go. <laughs> Because they don't let you change lane. I, I don't understand. I put signal. I want to go. They don't let me go. They're so upset that I took that middle of the lane, you know, that, that dotted line. Okay, <laughs> then one more thing. Now we know unofficial lane for bikers. I yes. something new. Yeah, there's an unofficial lane for bikers. Okay, then there's a uh, there's one more people huh? when you're driving. Yeah. Okay, if you want to take over, right? Take yeah. change lane in Singapore. You just have to go. You can't put signal. Huh? Yeah. The moment you put a signal, right? This guy will suddenly go very fast. Yes. <laughs> Yes. He had no intention of going fast. A stand-up comedian came here and made that joke 20 years ago. Is it? Oh he, noticed, he noticed it. Yeah. This guy who's going here, yeah, he's, he's, he's slow. Okay? He's just going slow. Yeah. No hurry. No urgency. But the moment he put a signal, right, he suddenly yeah. feels like you're, you're taking over his uh, imaginary moving space. You know? And then he'll go fast. He'll yeah. take over. Yeah, that's a common one. But you, so we, we, should, we should put a... Terribly. Oh, but you can't drive. Oh, we have, have you driven in Singapore recently? No. No, okay, yeah. So you don't know, right? <laughs> so I, I, I've tried this before. I, I tell people this, they don't believe. Okay. They say, okay, guys, just watch, watch. I, I'm in the car, I'm in the car, right? I say, yeah, watch, yeah. Watch. Okay, he's just going there, right? He's on high in a hurry, right? I put a signal, he will sort of suddenly just. Yes, yeah. Me, me and my wife talk about it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that guy has to go. <laughs> <laughs> has to go. <laughs> yeah, we have to kill him. Today's topic is that guy has, has to go. go. Yeah, the, uh, are the drug traffickers? I, I don't even know them. <laughs> I'm not really. I mean, I don't. Does not, it affect your life? Yeah, it doesn't affect my life. <laughs> You're like they're uh, finding. But that guy <laughs> does. So drug traffickers, not so bad, but bad traffickers in car traffic has to go. Yes. <laughs> That's a good one. All right. That's so funny. Yeah, Chun Chun. Chun Chua. Yes, Raj. Dan Raj. Sorry, do you know every day we're on the Zoom, right? Huh? You call her Chinchua? Chinchun. Chinchun? Some people call me Chinchun. My wait, sister wait, calls me Chinchun. Did you really call you three different names? Oh, I didn't there, there was Chinchua, Chua Chin. Chinchun. Chinchun. Chin like Chin yeah, right. Okay, go on. Sorry, yeah. back. Yeah. Because, that's because our Chinese names are, uh, are very confusing. Okay. <laughs> I get it. Forgive me. Go ahead. All Chinese names sound the same. <laughs> okay, outside of dance, right? Well, uh, outside of dance, what kind of job might you consider? I love project management. Anything with like lots of people, lots of problems, and fixing lots of things. <laughs> okay. oh, yeah. project, project management in a particular kind of industry or any industry? I know what's the best job for you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, go Raj. Housewife. Oh. There are people. Dude, there's a tough job. There, there are people. <laughs> yeah, go on. I got a problem. <laughs> I have fixing problems. We're actually not wrong. <laughs> I'm open to it. Full time housewife. I had a friend, long story short, she's amazing. Yeah, she's a super career driven woman. She's like, I'm never getting married. It's not my thing. Da 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 da. Super climb the ladder, corporate whatever. And now she's a hundred percent, I think for six years now, she has two kids, full time housewife. I would never imagine this lady doing this. But my point being, exactly. So I know housewife <laughs> is like, yeah, we have a Chinese phrase like, she sounds your mama how. Like, mother's job is like, I think the worst, um, you know, shout out to all mothers. Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day soon. Like, I think it's such a thankless job. So yeah, very yeah. noble. I don't know if I'm that noble. I'm still a little bit selfish. I think I still want like some kind of career development growth and like, you know, freedom time for myself. I don't know if I could ever be a mother. Like, I don't know if I want to take no, care of a minute. But that's the funny life. thing. I mean, what you just said about your friend, right? That's a thing now. I call a trad, a trad girlfriend or a trad wife. Oh. Look, all these women. Um, yeah, they give up their careers for their family. But, and, and it's very sad. They, they found all these women now. And they love that, it. That went into corporate now. Loads of money, right? Yeah. But they don't have kids and a husband, and a lot of them are really depressed. And it's just getting out on social media now. So this whole thing about women being more traditional, it's a whole big TikTok group. I can't think of anything on the planet that personally is greater than that. 
That's the one part that women have right now. What? Having children, being able to have children. Yeah. That, that, that's beyond this, description. This is so offensive to seahorses. Okay, because in the seahorse community, <laughs> the men give birth. Okay? And I don't just want to let you know. We won't tell us stage yet. Yeah. I don't let you know, okay? In the seahorse community, right? Yeah. The abortion rate is very low. <laughs> <laughs> but what do the women do then? What does what does a woman seahorse do? They go shopping. <laughs> in the ocean. I don't know what they do. Or whatever. It's or whatever. <laughs> go and look at shit. That's a bit or buy the seahorse shoe, you know. I don't know. But whatever it is. But it's really supply the egg at least. Yeah, the egg's from the woman. And they put it back inside the man. Okay, they don't put it inside the man. Okay, the, the seahorse female will lay the eggs. And the eggs will be detached into the to the seahorse. So the man has to the man has to collect them. Yes. Okay? And they, and they did for months. There's a whole there's a whole cycle of the dating. I'm actually a seahorse sympathizer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only thing about the LGBTQ community okay. that I don't understand <laughs> is why is it the seahorse? Uh, yeah, their logo. I'm not sure. You could pitch it actually. <laughs> no, 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 no. They actually use uh, a unicorn. The unicorn has done shit, done nothing for the community. But the seahorse, right, for three million years, right, has been doing this uh, agenda neutral thing. Rope like that, yeah. That okay, yeah. Seahorse. What has a unicorn ever done to anyone? It's unicorn just, is just a. It's just a gear icon. Isn't it? It's not a real <laughs> animal. But the seahorse has been doing this for three million years, you know. You should pitch it. I think they might pitch it. Yeah, yeah maybe they, they should sell like the seahorse idea to them, right? Seahorse idea. Doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Seahorse for lgbtqlogo.com. Yeah, they should do it. Thank you for watching the Unfiltered Podcast. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Come check us out every last Friday of the month for stand-up comments at the castle. My name is Jerry Judge Hines. I'm signing off here, and I hope to see you all again in the near future. Say goodbye, guys. <laughs>